which is why I ask us all to raise our glasses tonight to wish Dr. Freud, Dr. Young, and Dr. Adler the very best of luck in their new science. Ladies and gentlemen. Dr. Freud, may I ask you, what did you find was the most fascinating moment of the conference? When they declared my theories had nothing to do with science, that instead were a matter for the police. <laughs> Dear me. It's because everything you say is couched in biological terms. Well, I suppose you would rather I spoke of the spirit. Huh? Maybe. But what is spirit? Everything. Uh, no. Everything that shows what you call spirit has more to do with repressed sexuality. Please, gentlemen, not in the middle of the Our dissent. culture is our spirit, our whole civilization. Civilization, Colin. And don't tell me it's just a consequence of repressed sexuality. Yes, I'm afraid it is. The whole dilemma of power, mm. eros and love, seems to be never-ending. Well, to quote you, Carl, mm. <clears throat> the pendulum of the mind swings between sense and nonsense, not between right and wrong. That makes sense. I beg your pardon? Well, his idea about the, the mind swinging between sense and nonsense? So you also agree that power, eros, and love present us with an unsolvable dilemma. Why? Do you know what love is? How many kinds of love? There are. Yeah. Sure, there is uh, romantic love, the kind we all know about, especially your father. Romantic love was a creation of the medieval troubadour to show that there was more to it all than the uh, biological act. Well, I suppose that romantic love was invented as a brilliant means of seduction. Love was invented? Yes, and that was the beginning of the end, young man. Why do you say that? The notion of romantic love has led to more death and destruction than anything, say possibly religion. Please, Sigmund, this boy asked me what love is. Let me try and explain. Well, your explanations are of no importance, Carl. What you really should try to explore is why he wants to know. I just want to know, that's all. What is love? Love stems from a desire for balance. We all share a picture of what we think of men and women. We all have a female and male image stored inside of all of us. So, like a memory? No. If we understand the full nature of both the female and male in all of us, we gain a balance. And it is our yearning for that balance that makes us feel this thing we call love. So, love is a yearning for balance. Someday you'll meet a girl, and she will feel like the missing half of yourself. I think I already have. You have? I read a poem, Love's Philosophy, by Shelley. Nothing in the world is single. All things by a law divine. In one another's being mingle. This child can understand what Jung is talking about. I tell you, children's minds are incredible. But where exactly does love come into all that? Sex. That's where love comes into all of that, young man. Please, Sigmund. No, 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 no. The boy asked the question. All love is derived from the need for sexual gratification. Even this boy's love of his mother. Perhaps the ladies would like to withdraw. Yes, we've, we've, we've a lot of packing to do tomorrow. Henry, I think it's time you were in bed. But that's not what I'm talking about. Come on, Henry. Please, let the boy stay. He asked the question. My apologies, ladies, but please, let him stay. Love in the heart of someone your age is a powerful and dangerous thing. I've been watching you tonight, sitting there, all quiet, withdrawn. Is she pretty? You 
must be in a terrible situation. How did you know? Gentlemen, can't we help him? In love, your whole personality is involved. But my whole personality is involved. I think about her all the time. I dream about her. If you think what you feel is love, treasure that feeling. Build on it. And it will provide a strong basis for your later life. Yes, but why do I feel so out of control? Because you are. But you must not be afraid, Henry. You must not let the castle walls keep you from your love. But I still don't know what love is. Love can be an act of the spirit if you are Carl Jung. A romantic act if you are your father. An act of companionship if you like Dr. Adler's interpretation. But as far as I'm concerned, it's a biological act. It's a sexually motivated act. Either way, it is painful and wonderful all at once. But please, Henry, remember one thing. What's that? Don't turn away from it. To deny your love for someone is dangerous. Dangerous both to you and to the person you love. Shout out your love loud. I wish I could. What do you think, gentlemen? I think you can. And I think so, too.